Hey guys, good day. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised on this day and any other day. Wouldn't you guys agree? Guys, I went through a little something for a couple of days. Um, <laughs> I kind of felt like I was at death doorstep, but God said not so. You know, your body go through things. You, you go through different emotions and you go through health issues, and I do have a lot of health issues, but, you know, God just interceded last night, and he let me know, because I said, God, you know, I really felt like giving up. I'm going to be honest with you, and um, I felt God talk to me and say, you know what? I got you. Just believe me and have faith in me. This too shall pass. I will see you through this, but you got to have faith and believe. So he's been putting me through some tests, let me tell you guys, right? <laughs> So, you know, sometimes the ones that get up here preaching and speaking God's word and telling us to be humble and surrender and give ourselves to him, sometimes we need a pep talk, okay? I'm going to keep it real with you. So, I went through the ringer. God got me back. So, I'm here to spread his word on this Worshiping Wednesday. I hope this find everybody in good health, good state of mind, because I know we're going through a lot with all this different crazy weather. A lot of celebrities have lost, we have lost, just everyday life is happening. And it's been like that since the beginning of time. So don't think it's peculiar, it's something strange that's going on because this has been happening forever. But I guess we're just more aware of it now. So I'm reading today from one of my favorite books for us women, Daily Strength for Women and Men. You are so welcome to join in. You know I don't judge. I don't put a title on it. It's just the fact that this book is called Daily Strength for Women, a 365-day devotional. So let's get started. You know, I do one, two, three, one for the Father, two for the Son, and three for the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we're going to get started. The first one is called Compassion and Gracious. The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God. Slow to anger, abound, abounding in love and faithfulness. That's Exodus 34, 6. Each day we walk with the Lord, we hope to mature in him. The more we learn about his character, his goodness and compassion, his mercy and his love, the more we yearn to be like him. It makes no difference whether you are relatively, whether you're a relatively new Christian or have been serving him for a long time. The more you know of God and his loving kindness, the more convinced you become to better yourself, to soften your heart, to be like him. What more could we want in our heart of hearts than to be compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness? Looking into our own character is not always enjoyable, is it? We tend to be selfish and prideful. We may be ashamed of things we have said or done. God is faithful to forgive us for yesterday and before. We can take a courageous stand and declare each morning, today is a new day. Today I will be compassionate and gracious to those I meet. I will be slow to anger. I will abound in love and will be more like Jesus. How did you show compassion this week? Can you identify a time when you succeeded in slowing your anger? Number two, worthy. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Reve Reve Revelations 4.11 Within the vision God gave to John, he saw 24 elders before the throne of God. They were declaring the truth written in the verse. From God alone and for God alone do we exist and have a purpose. We are not an accident or an afterthought. Creator God designed this world with all its wonders because it was his will. It is his will that we live and he is therefore worthy of the praise of our lives. All glory, honor, and power are his for we are nothing without him. Give him the honor he is due. Demonstrate the gratitude that you feel. God created you and gave you meaning. Uncover his purposes and declare his praises. For it is why you were made. 
What do you think your main purpose in life is? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed. A stronghold in times of trouble. That is Psalms 9, 9. The last one is his story. I will tell about the Lord's kindness. Praise him for everything he has done. I will praise the Lord for the many good things he has given us and for his goodness to the people of Israel. He has shown great mercy to us and has been very kind to us. That's Isaiah 63, 7. You have a story to tell. When you think back over the years, reflect on the things that revealed God's goodness, graciousness, and love. Perhaps it was an illness or healing, a relationship or relationship breakdown. It might have been a joy or a disappointment in your career. God is right next to us in all the things that life throws at us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord. You may not have recognized him at the time, but hopefully you can attest to his kindness as you remember how you got through those times. This is your story. And just like the Israelites, it is worth telling and repeating. Your story is important, so be brave and speak it out. Where can you see God's goodness, mercy, or kindness in your present circumstance? I can see his goodness in what he's doing in my life. Like I've been at death doorstep many, many times, guys, and I don't take this lightly and I don't say it to be joking. I'm being truly honest and I'm letting you know that I've been at death's doorsteps many of times. But I feel like God's goodness and his mercy has shined on me because he could have took me away from here those numerous of times. But he chose to keep me here for a reason. And I get it now. It's to spread his word and his love and his gratitude and his faithfulness towards his children. If we just be obedient and listen. And let me tell you something. Every day is not going to go according to our plan and our will. But God's grace and mercy will see us through. It's at those times in that dark wee hours of the morning when we fall on our knees and we call for him and we surrender and we open up our arms to him and we say, Father God, I surrender. I can't do it without you. I give you all the honor and the glory. Do with me and my life what you will. If it's to serve you, to serve man in your honor, to let people know of your goodness and your faithfulness and how we should all be worthy of your love and give you devotion because you deserve it. You are an awesome, loving God who looks after his own. And even when we fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23, one of my favorite scriptures, he give us the honor to re to repent and give it all to him because without him, we are nothing. We are to honor and praise him and to magnify his holy name because he truly is a loving and worthy God. Amen. God bless you all.